Hi, I'm Lucas Risotto, and I make and design virtual and augmented reality experiences. There's no rules right now. There's no design standards for any of this stuff. So everything is experimental, and really it, it gives us the opportunity to reimagine everything from how things are shown, from how things are heard, from how things are interacted with. So it's, yeah, it's complete creative liberty and chaos and I'm, I thrive well in those kinds of environments. I wanted to work on, on the future rather than the present or God forbid the past. So I, I, started to, I saw VR start to evolve from a distance and I slowly started to get into it. Just like I, I just got really curious about it and then once I learned that it's, it was not impossible to learn how to make it I started to build my own things and find found new ways to express myself and my ideas in virtual and augmented reality and to really make people feel new things. So I got it was a slow process, but I got hooked into it and now it's what I do for a living. Um, it's 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 really like it's a, it's a dry season, um, money wise. It's there's not. There is opportunity, but it does require you to be very resourceful right now because it's relatively early. So the resources you have at your disposal is not a lot, but that forces you to be creative and to just just to be resourceful. So it's a little bit challenging right now to survive, but with enough smarts and planning, there are ways of doing it. And I think everyone here is betting that, um, you know, we're all betting in the future, so... We, we go through these early phases of struggle and discovery now, so when this stuff really blows up and spatial computing, VR and AR becomes a thing, we're all very positioned for when that moment comes. My one piece of advice is probably to learn a little bit of everything, learn a little bit about 3D modeling and development and um, audio editing. And if, if you know a little bit of everything, you can build projects on your own or um, fill in the gaps that your project has if you, like, if you have, if, if you're doing a project and you have an artist and a coder but you don't have a sound person, you know you can fill in the gaps and do that thing. Uh, right now, it's, it's because, re because, the, because we don't have access to a lot of resources, the more you, you can do on your own, the better you're going to be suited. And I was lucky enough to have developed all those skills over the past couple of years, and that allows me to build whatever it is I want to make. So... Learn development, learn coding, learn design. Um, and I know this sounds, this, it's easier said than done, but it's really just like be open to learning new skills because VR and AR is all, all of this is new and we're all learn, learning and everyone who's really into it is open to learning new things at a very rapid pace. So the sooner I think you get used to this idea of not being afraid of learning new skills and just incorporating them into your day-to-day -day work, the better. So yeah, like the, all the stuff that I was that I was saying just now about you know going out there and learning all all these new skills on your own, it can seem really daunting. But um, but the boot camp, it seems like it really offers you the ability to get exposed to all of those skills and learn all of them in a really short period of time, and and probably expose you to the professional opportunities that may allow you to start your career. So uh, anything that allows to uh, allows you to get access to all those different types of knowledge in a really short span of time with a community of enthusiastic um, creators and learners, I think is a really great thing.